David Archma can be shut him down man today. Yes. He's got Bryant, Montero, and Soler coming up for the Cubs. David was doing something very, I guess odd would be the right word, because I've never seen anybody do this before, but he was doing an exercise in the bullpen today by himself, without a catcher, without a baseball. And I've seen guys down there, you know, going through their motion, working on some mechanics, but he had a, a stool that he leaned on, then stepped, then followed through, and then caught himself with his right hand. It, Something I'd never watched or seen before. We'll have to ask him about it after the game. All right, this is our force vector torsion throws seated. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing that we did in our hold as to get into our position on the box, on the bucket, whatever. And then uh, we're going to initiate the throw from there. Okay, so course we need our ball we're going to take a position on the rubber where we've got that good 3x foot position we're flush we want to get shoulder width like in our stretch let's squeeze our butts squeeze our stomachs let's get some good posture obviously get your torsion hold that torsion drive leg walk it down make sure you got dorsiflexion I don't want you to be here and be too far out or don't even, I mean, you don't want to be too far back, knee over heel, but you, you're going to need dorsiflexion. This is where dorsiflexion is critical because if we do this drill correctly, it's really, really challenging on that leg power. That's why you got to have that 1.3 power to weight ratio. So this is going to be really challenging if you don't uh, put your leg in a good position to where you have the ability to generate as much force as possible. So let's get into that good dorsiflexion um, to really help you through your leg drive. So, like I said, start flush, maybe halfway on the rubber. The bucket is on the outside of the rubber. Good posture, squeeze your butt, squeeze your stomach, turn your, your torque, your knees out, turn your legs out. Hold that torsion, walk it down. Okay, turn your butt out, lift your foot up. Now we're in our force vector position. Let's go into that cock position, good horizontal abduction, almost full external rotation. From here, we're just going to lift and shoot right out off the box into triple extension. The problem here is, for those of us who maybe don't have a good power to weight ratio, or maybe 1.3 isn't enough for you because your upper body is uh, heavy, like me. I'm very upper body heavy, so I have to a little bit have even more power production through my lower half, then you need to make sure you don't come off the box by throwing yourself back. You literally just slide right off the bucket or box. My example would be, when I'm in this position, this would be not what we want. We don't want to throw ourselves back up and then drive out. Negative. That really would take away from the purpose of the drill. We want to be butt as close to the glove as we can without sitting on the glove. And then we, from there, do not want to shift weight back. We just want to literally slide right off to into full triple extension. Now, if we don't get enough power, we're not going to get good separation into good forward trunk tilt. So make sure we're just sliding off the box. So I'll show you a negative. This would be the negative. We don't want this throw off the box. Okay? Threw myself back and made that pop that force vector up. I don't want that. I want to keep it vertical and I don't want to lose torsion. The other thing is, is don't start your drive by slamming your knee down too hard. Really focus more on the drive. Okay? And just try to slide right off that box. So let's get in that position. Get torsion. Walk it down. Okay? Cock position. Slide right off the box. So you can see you got to be quick. So when you do this the first time, you're going to feel incredibly slow. You're going to probably feel your front foot land and your back foot just barely coming off. That's the point. You want to train yourself to be quicker from this position. That's what high velocity pitchers do. They get into a better load position. They fall, squat, drop, or forward down into a better load position than you, which makes it harder for them where they have to be quicker through triple extension 
to get triple extension before front push strike. That's what makes it an elite move. So put yourself in this drill through that quick elite move and force yourself to be quick enough to get through it. So here we go. I'm going to do, I'll do three of them at the best of my ability um, and should give you a good idea of how we're, how we're doing this. Get our posture, torsion, walk it down, get on the box, get cocked. I lost a little dorsiflation. Ah, slow. It's like you can never be fast enough. I still, I want to throw myself back up. I got to be careful and try to just come right off the box. A little late there. So you can see how challenging this drill is. Very challenging. Last one. We want the challenge. The challenge is going to make us get better. Ah, not a lot of forward trunk tilt. Still, I want to finish. Good forward trunk tilt for maximum external rotation. Front leg extension. That tells me I got a lot of power through my leg drive, the triple extension, front foot track. All right, that's our force vector, force vector torsion throws um, seated. All right.